What is up, guys? It's your homeboy Daniel from Tiny Studio Productions, and today we got the oh, motherfucking shit. Sean Mecca in the oh, house. Shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hold on, hold on. I I I, I thought oh, there was gonna be like fucking uh, birds and fucking uh, a fucking audience <laughs> clapping or some shit. I didn't hear shit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. So, Thank you. So, Mr. Mecca, how was 2020 for you? Uh, fuck 2020 one time for the one time. Uh, it was trash. Uh, it was trash for a lot of people, man. And, um, I just hope we don't have to go through that bullshit again, bro. I hope this year gets a hell of a lot better. And, uh, fuck 2020. That deserves a uh, round of applause, guys. So how did you... How did you how did you two sexy bastards meet? This motherfucker here? Yeah. Um it's your quest black. So I logged into my farmersonly.com, right? Nice. And I'm just browsing. I'm just like, bro, that guy could be my fucking friend, bro, for real. So uh, a nice hat or <laughs> and yeah, yeah, I fucking I, I sent them a fucking piggy wink. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh I started him on Tinder. Here we are. Nice. And uh he's that's my friend right there. Yeah. Fuck that guy. <laughs> On the real, on the jump meet. I don't fucking know, bro. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I don't fucking remember. Uh, I've 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 known him or known of him. You know what oh, I mean? For God. fucking many years since like I was like 14, 15 years old, bro. And so this guy's like 50 right now. So <laughs> I've known him for a long time, man. I'm not gonna lie. So uh, so what got you into the music, bro? What got me into the music? Yeah. Uh, that's that's like a personal question. Oh shit, my bad. Nah. Um, I don't know, man. It's just, it, it, it really started off as, you know, me wanting to, uh, do music solely for, you know, because of what I saw on TV and stuff growing up, you know, seeing these rappers with their cars and their fucking houses and shit. You know what I mean? And it grew into, it grew into a love, you know what I mean? It grew into, you know, really, you know, sitting down every day, writing music and, you know, getting in the studio every every day, every other day, you know what I mean? So it just turned into the love of money to actually the love of music, you know what I mean? So like like you say, man, like we've known each other for the longest time. Well, yep. we've known of each other for the longest time. I known you back in the D City days, shout out to Eddie Low Eyes. Uh-huh. Um the whole authentic beat mecca, Sean Mecca transition, what was all that about? Um you know what, bro? It just it 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 had so many transitions because of growth, I guess. You know, f- from being from authentic from when I was a kid, because authentic was my first name. I found out that there was like a hundred and fifty thousand other fucking authentic names. You know what I mean? So I switched it over to Beat Mecca. Shout out my sister because she was the one who gave me the name. Um, that name stuck with me even to this day. People still call me Beat Mecca. Um, but beat mega stuck with me for years, man, because I was making beats. What software were you using? Uh, Fruity Loops. Nice. Yeah, man. This guy introduced me to Fruity Loops, man. It's yeah. Crazy. Uh, yeah. Crazy. What? Oh, okay, that's awesome, bro. Yeah, man. And um, excuse me, I stopped making beats, and I, I needed something to to transition from being a producer to being an artist. So I just I kept the Mecca name because a lot of people would always just call me Mecca. Hey Mecca, what's up Mecca? What up Mecca? So I kept the Mecca name and I just I started using my real name, which is Sean. So you know I just I attached it to the Mecca name and here we are today. So how was Kyle Mecca born? Uh, you see, when uh, a man and a woman love each other very much, they do things, and uh, in the back of a Starbucks in austin texas and um kyle was born kyle was born in austin bro we went to <laughs> we went to a fucking uh um a thrift store it was me eric rudy and my boy juni we went to this this thrift store in austin just to you know look around this was before an event that we had going on um eric quiz was the one who had on the fucking wig first bro and i was like e that's a badass wig that's perfect bro let me fucking try that shit on Put it on, and it was over from then, man. I started rocking that shit every other fucking day, bro. And every time I get on live on Facebook or anywhere else, that that Kyle Wick comes out, and it's it's only when I'm drunk. I don't know why. Don't ask. 
Going so, as, so as soon as you put it on, it was kind of like in the mask when he puts on like shit. Yeah, it was bro. The same thing. Like you, you, you thought of that <laughs> fucking personality right away. Kyle just fucking was born. Cash app nipples. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? He comes out every once in a while, bro. He he he'll fucking pop up every now and then. I need to interview that guy one one day. One day. One day. What was your favorite location you've performed at? Uh, El Paso, bro. Why? El Paso, Texas, bro. I have never been to a place where people show so much fucking love in my life, bro. Like, like the energy from being in a, in a, in this, we, we went to a fucking house party, bro. And everybody, and I mean, everybody at the house party was just vibing and rocking with us, bro. Like crazy. it was intense. It was so personal and like intimate, bro. And just man something that I'm, I'm i'm hoping that we could do again this coming year man so shout out to el paso shout out to everybody that that's rocking with us out in el paso hey man tingies or torchies oh torchies bro yeah. shout out to tingies i i gotta fuck with you know what bro hold on that let me rephrase that i jumped the gun i jumped the fucking gun hold on tingies don't hate me for this i fuck with tingies Tingy's got some good ass. Uh, what do you call them? Uh, birria, barria, birria, birria, birria. Tacos. Yeah, those tacos are, are the shit. They they make the best ones. You know what I'm saying in the valley. Personally, yeah. that's what I think. I haven't yet tried Tingy's, but I love tortillas. But I when it comes tingies. to like just these these tacos, you know what I'm saying? Like torchies takes the cake bro and yes, that's sir. my opinion. A lot of people hate on it because it's like really watered down Mexican food to a lot of people. But bro, every time we go out of town, that's that's one spot we always go to. Yeah, what I hear it, what I hear about torches down here is like, oh, that's that's white people talk. Yeah, no, that's fuck them. It's delicious. Bro, so like you said, you went from a beat maker producer to yeah. an artist. Um, you've done a lot of the hip hop. What made you want to release a Spanish song? Like, what inspired you? You released that song, "Ella Tiene Ritmo." What were you? What was going through Sean Mecca's mind when that? Happened. I was eating a, a torchy taco. For real? Nah, I'm just fucking with you, bro. <laughs> um, I, you know what, man? I've, I've always liked to experiment. You know what I mean? When it comes to music and shit like that, I've always liked to uh, test the waters. I've done country music that will never, ever be released. You know what I mean? I've done, you know what I mean? R&B music, which, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have heard it, like, in, in some of my albums and stuff like that. Um. But that, this was something. I've, you know what? Real quick, I've also done techno music too. Really? Yeah, I've. I've I gotta I've sang, hear that yeah, shit. Yeah, I've, I've sang in a few techno joints. Nice. And uh, I don't want to talk about that right now, but yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, this is something that I have been wanting to test out, and a lot of people are digging it, and a lot of more. Uh, uh, how can I? How can I put this? Uh, more people than usual are paying attention to me because of the song. So. Uh, I'm glad I'm I did it. I'm glad that you know I wrote the song. So hopefully in 2021 we could get a lot of shit popping with this song. So yeah, the song's like it's not your normal Sean Mecca. It's something different, man. And I I, I really fire. like it, man. It's fire, yeah. Bro. You think you're doing a video? Yeah. Video? So yeah. that's that's in the works for within the next few weeks, man. So so what's your favorite restaurant so far? Uh, favorite restaurant, bro. <sighs> Here in the valley, I think it would have to be um, fuck, bro. And this, and it's, I mean, it's not a restaurant per se, but I visit this restaurant a whole lot because of work. And this is just my go-to. It would have to be Waterburger oh, if yeah. that's considered a restaurant. You know what I'm saying? And of course, when I go out of town, it's Torchies. So, and then. So I don't even I don't even have to ask you this question. I was gonna ask you, Waterburger or In and Out. Uh, In In and Out is trash, so it's uh, Waterburger all day, sir. So what has been your favorite album you've released? Uh, it would be my Purple Hearts album. That has a lot of meaning to it. A lot of uh, uh, a lot of backstory to like each song that I've dropped on that album. So. Bro, that's, that's my favorite album, too. I remember yeah. one time I was driving, like, I would hear it so much that my son, like, before he even said that, he was saying, I wasn't good enough, good enough. <laughs> he was saying you're hooked be awesome, before he bro. said that, bro. I'm like, damn. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. 
<laughs> Are you a Star Wars fan? Yes, I am. Uh, it's tatted on me. What is your take on The Mandalorian, sir? Dog, when I saw the ending of The Mandalorian, I jizzed. Well, don't tell me because I haven't seen I haven't seen the ending. What the fuck are you I, doing I, with your life? I've been busy. Your I've lightsaber came out. Bro, yes, busy. bro. Was, you know what I'm saying? Like, that <laughs> shit was everywhere, bro. Like, if you haven't seen the ending, I'm not going to spoil it. But if you haven't seen it, this is for every single Star Wars fan. And if and if and if Star Wars fans hate on this, I I personally think you're not a real Star Wars fan because this as soon as I saw that person come out, it was over, bro. I I think that same day that it premiered, I saw that last episode maybe about twenty times, bro, back to back. Bro, I had to rewatch it. And Disney's smart because they're just how they like branched out and comic with all these heroes now they're doing that with star wars yeah they broke That's, that shit down like they're gonna milk these fuckers it own years. everything bro and it's it's to me it's it's awesome bro because like i love to see how they you know yeah. bring some of these characters back or bring some of these characters to life from like these from the cartoons and the comics and shit and it's like bro like I've been waiting for shit like this. You know what I mean? Dude, I can imagine the ones that are writing the scripts, they're, they're Star Wars fans, and they're yep. privileged to do a continuation of all this. Yes, sir. It's pretty badass. So tell the fans something that we don't know. Tell them they don't... Tell them something they don't know. About <laughs> you. About <laughs> Mecca. <laughs> <laughs> tell them something they don't know. You know what? Let's let's uh, let's uh go back to that question, bro. Let's, let's, let's keep that one to the end, man. Okay. We'll come back to that one. What are your plans for this year? Uh, my plans for this year, man. Hopefully, get back on the road, bro. If, if uh, you know, God willing, man. Hopefully, all this pandemic shit goes away, or at least you know calms down, so we can get back on the road. I'm trying to do more shows. I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do more personal events, more intimate events, as far as like house parties and and one on one sessions, because I think. That's the best way to gain more fans and the more 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 traction in in a certain city. You know what I mean? More organic, yeah, like old man. School because style. if you have a hundred people out in the crowd, it doesn't help when those hundred people are not fucking paying attention to you. They're at the bar fucking drinking it up, and you're performing, but they're not paying attention. Compared to twenty five people who come to see you, and they're actually vibing with you and listening to you and out of those 25 people you get fucking 15 people who want to purchase merchandise or follow you follow you on instagram or whatever the case may be you know what i mean so that's a little bit more personal more authentic than you know being at these big and major th events you know that's what I mean? very smart marketing because nowadays that's i think that's the biggest struggle with artists it's yep. the market side and you're doing that that's marketing right there bro. yeah i mean and and it's it's harder because right now music's not paying bro if you see these rappers, you know what I'm saying? If you're not Drake, if you're not Future, any of these major big artists, their music's not fucking paying. Labels are not giving out no fucking deals right now. You know what I'm saying? Not unless you're fucking going viral on TikTok or whatever the fuck. These 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 people are not making no money. You know what I mean? So it's harder for independent artists right now, man, because of the what's going on in, in the world. You know what I mean? So you got to work a little bit harder. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and a little bit more close range to the people that you that that that, that you're trying to market to so what's your so, take on that quiz go ahead what on the marketing side like um i mean being an independent artist and being a signed artist yeah well, i mean he's right what he says i mean being an independent <clears throat> artist you would have to work harder man like way harder because you're doing everything yourself Yep. you know what i mean yeah. hey man tequila or jack daniels what did you say to me? <laughs> Tequila or Jack Daniels? Dog, it's whiskey all day, baby. Hell yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? All right. Got to go with Jack. You know what I mean? Okay. Got to love living because dying is a son of a bitch. Frank <laughs> Frank didn't say it like that, but it's something like that. Yeah, yeah. Sure, you got that right. <laughs> Someone, somebody wise once said, whiskey in my hand with your baby mama naked. Oh, uh, great, uh, great quote from a great man. <laughs> Every time I fucking drink whiskey, bro, I play that fucking song. That, that, and that's that's why I did it. <laughs> so when people drink whiskey, they think of me. Okay, you know, of all, <laughs> but the places, naked. all the places that we've gone to, man, like, uh -huh. I mean, at times I've, I've gone on tour with you. So I'm going to give you a choice. So you pick either one. 
oh, out of the places shit. that we've gone to, where would you like to go back? Either L.A. or Las Vegas. Oh, man. Why you gonna do this, bro? You already know, man. Vegas, Vegas is always good to me, bro. Vegas is always good to me. I think L.A. for the sole fact that I've been to L.A. a few times. I've been to L.A. like a handful of times. But I've never explored L.A. You know what I mean? Like, I've never fucking been out and drove around because it's always been just to go in and out. You know what I'm saying? Just to go to fucking go to the show and get out of there. Go to go to uh, Disney and get out of there. Go to Universal and get out of there. You know what I mean? Like, it's never been to go and explore the city and shit like that. So um, I think I would like to go back to L.A. All right. So any shout outs, Micah? Um. Shout out to your baby mama naked. <laughs> Shout out to everybody, bro. Shout out to everybody who's fucking grinding right now during the quarantine and the pandemic and shit, bro. Because I know it's fucking hard. And a lot of people are going through it right now. So, shout out to everybody. What advice would you give a new artist coming up? Like, barely coming up, man. What advice would you give them? Uh, I've said this many times. And I know you said this before, too. So, we need to stay less off on social media. Less social media. Okay, don't worry about what the other guy's doing. Okay, you need to do, do you, you know what I'm saying? Do you continue what you're doing? If you want to fucking write a fucking Spanish joint, write a sp- fucking Spanish joint and market to your people, you know what I'm saying? Mark, market, market to the people you know who are going to want to listen to your music, you know what I mean? Like, don't try to appeal to everybody because not everybody's gonna fucking like you you know what i mean and sometimes you just gotta get the fuck out of your your comfort comfort zone zone and get out of your fucking city or get out of your town you know what i'm saying and just go and go out and you know what i'm saying go 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 perform at some of these some of these bars and in different spots go to san antonio and perform over there you know what i mean go to fucking houston and perform austin and shit like that like just go out and explore, you know what I mean? Like, there's a bigger fucking world, you know what I mean? The market for hip-hop in the valley, it's growing. And it's fucking awesome, you know what I'm saying? Because it's fucking growing. But if we're trying to expand to the world, we need to get out to the world, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta say, bro, um, I've been producing for three years. And I started, like, on social media, I started seeing who was doing the movement and all that. And, uh... You're one of the few persons that I was a, a big fan of, man. So mm-hmm. I was very fucking honored this past year when you went to to my first event. You know what I mean? I really appreciate that, bro. And I fuck with all your music, man. And I'm looking forward to the future projects you got going, you know? I'm, I feel very privileged, bro, to be, you know, like even you being here and I'm not sucking you off or anything because. <laughs> but I'm just saying, bro, Trying like. Hold I, hands or what? <laughs> I'm just, you know, like. <laughs> yeah, just hold hands. No, I'm, I'm very thankful, bro, for you coming by. and uh, Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, man. And uh, I'm just saying, just looking forward for all your stuff, bro. We could we could, uh, we could could hug afterwards, man. <laughs> hey, Backstreet Boys are in sync. In oh. sync, bro. Ah, shit. In sync. Sorry to oh, all the ladies man. out there who, who like uh, <laughs> Nick. What's his name? I was going to say Nick Cannon. I was going to say Nick Cannon, too. <laughs> uh, Nick and uh, Bobby Brown or fucking what's his name? Uh, hey, aside from that, man, uh, there's something else I've been, I've been wanting to ask you, bro. I mean, I mean, we've talked so much, but ten inches. Oh shit, bro! Really? <laughs> what? Anyways, no. I was, what are you talking about, dude? The whole Sancho Boy thing, man. Give me more information about the whole Sancho Boy thing. The Sancho Boys. The Sancho, the Sancho Boys. Boys is uh, Rain Rao. How did that Rain? No, man. That's 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 a uh, that's a uh, that's my boy Rain's. Uh, uh, that's 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 like his thing, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Rain Rao, Rao yeah, man, yeah. You know. Rain Rain Rao's a fucking smart dude, bro. Like that guy, he's, he's fucking hilarious, bro. His he's, fucking he's memes. He's funny. He's smart, bro. Like that guy's on his shit, bro. So, but yeah, man, that's that's like, that's like a whole, that's like a whole another, a whole another thing, a whole another topic we could talk right. about, man. Right. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's some that's a question for Rain. You know what I'm saying? All right. All we'll right. bring yeah. you in later. Shout shout out to Rain and the Sancho boys, bro. So where can people get a hold of your music? Uh, everywhere, bro. Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, Pornhub. It's everywhere, bro. So, all right, guys. This concludes your uh, 
eighth episode of uh, my podcast, and I appreciate Mecca coming by, Mr. Quest Black. Any last words, guys? Any last thoughts? No. Negative. All right, guys. <laughs> Music, peace, and love. Much, Much love, love. y'all.